So welcome to the Data Explorers Market Update with me, Will Duff Gordon. So today uh, I'm talking about satellite navigation products because there's definitely been some short interest in the likes of TomTom and Garmin. I think there are results in Garmin uh, this week as well. Now imagine what, how life was a few years ago when um, pre, pre all this kind of like mapping technology where, you know, one could easily get lost and, you know, you needed to carry a map and um, nowadays with smartphones and with satellite navigation in, in cars and in personal devices, you know, there's no excuse for getting lost. And I say in my piece today rather ambitiously, we now never get lost and have no excuse for being late. I'm always very late, so I can't really say I'm following that very well. But why then are people um, so negative on people like TomTom Tom, who surely have kind of made everyone's life so much better? Well, the reason is, is that there's this kind of, in 2008, uh, Tom Tom uh, bought Tele Atlas, who were the people who'd kind of mapped the whole of Europe and America. Um, and that was sort of the timing was very, very close to the credit crunch when they bought a business for 2.9 billion. And they weren't a, that old a company at the time. So they had a lot of debt. And so they've been really struggling since a bit. But they're doing better. The share price is rebounding. The short selling is now at um, 10%. And it was at 13% in August. So people are coming out. Meanwhile, the institutional owners are increasing their ownership and they now own. 8%. So therefore, you've kind of got two sides there. Uh, the long-only guys are quite, are quite happy to be long-term owners of, of TomTom. So analysts at, um, uh, at some brokers say that the that personal navigation devices, PNDs, that the, that's kind of declining maybe 9% a year uh, as people start to use these navigation devices on their smartphones, which are sort of supposedly free, and they use Google. Uh, and the Google sort of hanging over this whole sector, what will Google do? in terms of satellite navigation. Now, let's not forget that Google used Teleatlas, and Teleatlas is owned by TomTom for their European maps, um, but it's still a threat nonetheless. Meanwhile, if you look at other analysts, they sort of see the fact that TomTom is starting to provide in-dashboard solutions uh, for some of the kind of um, middle market cars as a key growth area, because as we all know, only the really expensive cars have inbuilt sat-navs, and those that do have rather sort of the satin doesn't really update. You have to buy us a DVD. It might be a thousand pounds or more as an extra add-on. And you know all these things that you can find on Google Maps and sort of places like Foursquare and all this kind of amazing location um, awareness that's building up is, is not going to be something that your car is going to take advantage of. And the, the system that it leaves the garage with, with the system it remains. So TomTom Tom putting a device into cars could be cheaper and quite possibly better as they are the sort of market leaders there. Uh, let's have a look at Garmin. Well, Garmin, uh, they have 9% short, uh, which is um, kind of coming down a little bit uh, from where it was, but it is going to take 12 days to cover that. There's still plenty of shorts to cover in Garmin, uh, and so it'll be interesting to see how the market leader gets on with their results this week. Uh, RI was also caught by Audi have done a deal, so Audi owned by Volkswagen, they've done a deal with Qualcomm so that they can get kind of smart, smart 3G um, uh, and Wi-Fi hotspots uh, in their sort of super-end cars. It'd be interesting if you can get Wi-Fi for your passengers if you're driving along in an Audi A8, um, which would uh, rather change the market. On the subject of cars, also thinking of uh, DTS, they kind of are a rival to Dolby and they sell sort of surround sound systems. That's very heavily shorted at 10%. So a very, very interesting sector because my COO and I were just sort of brainstorming on this. You know, there is a bit of a disconnect between the kind of, we all spend a large amount of time in the car um, and a lot of people have kind of more information in their handheld device than they do on the car in in-car computer. And that's clearly going to change. But is it going to change in favor of TomTom Tom, or is it going to change in favor of Google? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's a report, as usual, at dataexplorers.com forward slash news. Cut. Thank you.